What's up, folks? Uh, I am super excited, and uh, the reason I am excited is because yesterday I got beer mail, and uh, not only did I get beer mail, I got experimental beer mail. So I'm very excited about that, and I'm fixing to tell you about it. Uh, probably, I guess it was the middle of February, I think was the date. Uh, YouTube user Tom Roder, and Tom, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing your last name right. Uh, he did a video on uh, uh, an experiment he was doing uh, with his yeast, uh, an experiment between dry and liquid yeast. And uh, what Tom did was brew a 10-gallon uh, batch of, uh, uh, I'm thinking his, his uh, house recipe is uh, APA, American Pale Ale, that he brews quite often, uh, 10 gallons, and he split it in two 5-gallon uh, fermenters. And uh, in one fermenter, he used uh, Safel US05 dry yeast, which was rehydrated. And in the other five gallons, he used um, Y yeast 1056 American Ale. Uh, he wanted to see if there was any difference in um, color, flavor, aroma, uh, bitterness, anything like that. Everything was done precisely the same up uh, until the yeast, and that was the only thing done different. And I just chimed in on the video because, you know, it, it interested me because I've, I've done both uh, yeast myself, um, dry and, and liquid, and uh, but I've never done a side-by-side -side comparison with, like, splitting a 10-gallon batch. So I was really curious to see how this turned out. Uh, I think he also sent some beers to uh, Bobby from New Jersey and Nige to try, too, and uh, <clears throat> I really respect those guys and Tom, too. All y'all guys are... I think a step above me when it comes to brewing experience. So I hope I can give it um, justice. I uh, hope I can, uh, hope my review gives it justice anyway. So I'm gonna uh, do the best I can. But yesterday, like I say, I got this nice little box in the mail and it had these in the box. Uh, Tom marked them A in the, that's the uh, Founders bottle and B in the uh, Sierra Nevada bottle. And he also sent me a nice little note and uh, his recipe and I don't know which yeast he used with either of those the A or B I don't have a clue he's actually put up a video in the last few days um, where he did a, a taste test a blind taste test himself and I think his dad and somebody else I can't remember now I'd have to go back and look but uh, but he didn't give the results he didn't you know give it give out the uh, results so I'm excited about trying this. I think I'm going to try it here shortly. I've already had these beers chilling down overnight. I got them out to the video here and show you the video. Um, <clears throat> so I've not drank any beer since I've got home, so I won't have any, uh, uh, you know, I, I, love, I love IPA, so I didn't want to come home and drink a hot bomb or anything and then uh, try to do this. So I've not drank anything. So anyway, I'm going to get things set up. And before I forget, uh, look down in the more info section, and I'll put the links to uh, Tom's uh uh, video where he done the yeast experiment and um, I'll also put the video for this last video he did showing his results and and as time goes on if uh, Bobby and uh, Nige uh, do their videos I'll add those down there as well but um, check it out and like I say I'll get things set up and uh, hope I can do this thing justice I'm excited about this, this is uh, I've not gotten any other people's home brews to try except steel jams and so I'm I'm you know, not only excited about doing, uh, being involved in the experiment, but just uh, getting somebody else's homebrew to try. So get these things back in the refrigerator for a few minutes and get things set up, and uh, we'll give this thing a go. All right, let's do this. Uh, <clears throat> hope you can see everything. I've tried to set my camera up so you can see it all good. A on the left, B on the right. Schnauzer barking upstairs. Perfect timing. Uh... I don't think I mentioned in the previous little clip, but uh, Tom did rehydrate the dry, well, I think I mentioned that he re rehydrated the dry yeast, but I don't think I mentioned that he made a starter with the liquid yeast, so he did do that. Uh, looking at my notes here, 62 degrees is what he fermented these beers at uh, for two weeks. Yep, two weeks in the fermenter at, seven, at 62 degrees, and then seven weeks cold condition at uh, like 33 degrees in the keg and then he bottled these beers from a keg so I've uh, got my little notepad over here uh, <clears throat> my memory is about as long as my hair so uh, it's good for me to take notes because I don't remember anything there's A and there's B
a little bit of head on it. And I don't know if Tom's uh, system's like mine, but when you uh, bottle from a keg, you uh, you do lose a little bit of carbonation along the way, but that's fine. It's got good carbonation. I can see it coming up from the bottom really well. And Tom, I didn't look really hard at your notes, but I didn't see if you used any fining agents, if you used any whirl flock or anything like that, and I don't want to fumble through it right now, but uh, I can tell right off these beers are crystal clear. A and B, and I'm going to try to hold them up to the sun, and I'm also going to grab my camera here in a second, and I can absolutely tell no difference right off the bat in any color. They're both a really pretty amber color, uh, copper color I should say, I guess, uh, both clear as a bell. Let me get my camera. Okay, I grabbed my camera here, and I'm going to kind of point this toward the light, so hopefully you can see it. And get my Sierra in the bottle. Getting a little chill haze on the glass, so might not be able to see it as well as you could have a minute ago. But um, beers look really clear. Try to put the label behind it. Like I say, it's just a little bit of chill haze, but I'm sure you love seeing me move my camera up and down like that. Nice and clear. Nice and clear. Put the labels out. And I'm looking at these towards the sun and trying to see if I notice any difference in clarity and color, and I see absolutely none. So set the camera back up. Color, uh, I don't see a difference, brother. So the yeast did their thing. This yeast, uh, both yeast, the US05 and the, the 1056 are are known to be, you know, uh, they finish dry, clean, and crisp. Both these yeasts claim to do that. And they have a low to medium flocculation, so they claim to do the same. Uh, and like like Tom said in his, in his video, uh, there's always a discussion about the difference in the cheaper dry yeast and the more expensive liquid yeast. So let's give this thing a little bit of nose. And I know, Tom, you didn't dry hop this batch, so I'm not expecting a big hop aroma, but I do get a nice maltiness nose. Gosh, maybe just a tad more, maybe just a tad more maltiness on uh, A. And uh, before I do a sample test, I forgot one thing. I need to get me some water uh, so I can cleanse my palate uh, between tastes. So let me grab some water and I'll be right back. All right, so uh, I'm going to do this one more time with the uh, aroma. And yeah, I, I really believe A has a little more, a little more nose on the malt. I can smell just a little more. Yeah, definitely, definitely a little more maltiness on, on A. So uh, not really any hop aroma. Uh, like I say, it's not dry hopped, but keep on going back and forth. But definitely get a little more hop uh, malt from A. So, all right, let's do a little taste test here. It's a very good, easy drinking beer. As far as body, from my opinion, I think that's more of a light to medium body taste to me. It's got really good flavor. Uh, you definitely get the malts. I know you've got your grain bill in here. I didn't want to take the time to spill all that out, but. Uh, <clears throat> It's a really good beer. I like. I'm, I'm trying to let it warm up too because I know you're gonna get more flavors as it warms up to room temperature. All right. Get a little water and swish them around. Let's see about Mr. B here.
Well, this is the tough part for me remembering uh, back and forth. I don't know, brother. That's awful close. Um, I may have to do a little sip uh, from one to the other without taking the water. Now I want to do one more thing before I say what I'm going to say. I really don't want to say that A has more body. I know, um, I really think it's the malt character coming through. Um, I don't know, it's almost like it's a little, just a tad bit more carbonated or something. I don't know, it's it's not like this is thin at all. and It's not like B is thin at all. Uh, I'm sure y'all loving me, watch me just sit here and sip these beers, but I'm really trying to get a feel. Yeah, something's not there in B that there isn't A. Not by any means is that beer too thin or I don't think out of character at all. I just think it's probably coming from that smell that I got where it has more. Um, and I, I'm not good at these terms, so hopefully some of the other guys, maybe Bobby or Nige or even you, uh, can tell me why the beer that I'm smelling uh, has more malt you know, smell to it. I can smell the malt more has just a tad bit more body or just a little more unique taste yep that's what I'm gonna go with man I'm gonna go with uh, they're both great beers The malt is definitely more prevalent in the aroma in this one in A than it is in B. <clears throat> I hope you can hear me. I'm not talking very loud. I know since my camera's a little bit further away, but well, uh, I would have never, I don't know what I would have thought. I'm, I'm, I'm really curious uh, to know. I would almost bet, and I'm, I'm just going to go out on a limb here, that A is the dry yeast. And the reason I say that is uh, I don't know I, I think uh, in my experience with dry yeast it doesn't finish out as clean and as crisp as the uh, <clears throat> liquid yeast I've used has so I'm thinking there's a little more fermentables in A maybe and uh, that's giving me that little more of a body and uh, malt flavor that I'm getting than I am in B I think B may be uh, finished out a little bit cleaner a little bit drier uh, and I'm I'm going to go ahead and say that B is the liquid yeast, and I may be totally wrong, and I'd be surprised to hear the results. So, but uh, man, you did a good job. Uh, this is a great experiment, and uh, really good beers. But yep. A, he's got just maybe a tad more body. It's definitely got more of uh, the malt aroma and just a tad bit more bite to it. Uh, it makes you want to say this one's a little thinner. It's not It's not really thin. I just think it finished out drier and cleaner than A did. So I like A better, I think. I like A better. I really do. And again, I'm saying A is the uh, dry yeast. B is the liquid yeast. There you go, Tom. I appreciate you letting me uh, be a part of this experiment. There's your beers, brother. Appreciate it again. Um, 
can't wait to hear the results. And uh, the second greatest thing about this is <clears throat> I'm fixing to kill off uh, the rest of this and have two beers in like 15 minutes here. So two great beers, Tom. I really appreciate it. Can't wait to hear the results.